Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I've been up since half past six. It's lesser day, uh, so I'm on the Tall Point Ferry heading over to Whitsam Bay to see Andy for lesson number four. Um, this week, I've really struggled with last week's lesson, which was trying to engage the body. Um, I just I can't seem to do it. I either fire it too quick, arms lag behind, shank it. It's just been an absolute struggle this week. But practice makes perfect I suppose um, I didn't do a vlog yesterday um, because I didn't really do much um, so I'm not going to make a daily vlog for the sake of making a daily vlog but what I did do was I went down to uh, Torquay Golf Club and met with Dan Hendrickson and Lester the Mints um, and there'll be a selfie going up now ping um, and I went there to buy a new hybrid that Dan was selling, which was an ex-demo club. It was an 818H2, 17 degree. Um, I asked him to crank it to 16 degree. Uh, there's a Tense White 90 gram shaft in it, which is low spinning, low launch. The idea behind this club is um, it's just going to go a little bit lower than my other hybrid. So if I need to get a little bit of distance into wind, then this is the club for it. But um, I'm going to go to the simulator later and test it. Uh, see what sort of distances I get, peak heights I get with it, um, which I'll video. But to be fair, um, Dan and Lester are two of the nicest people you'll ever meet. To be, um, you know, they were they couldn't have been more welcoming, and their hospi hospi hospitality uh, was second to none. You know, Dan showed me around uh, where he and Mark do the filming in their uh, simulator down there in their little lab, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we had a chat for half an hour. So yeah. If, um, I doubt very much they watch this but uh, if you are watching it thanks very much boys for the uh, the hospitality and the welcome it was um, it was really nice um, and yeah thanks for the Mars bar Lester even though I did leave it behind but what I did buy while I was there was um, get it out of the car oh launch it everywhere was a talky ball scrub out yep and now the proud owner of the infamous Torquay Golf Clean Golf Club Cleaner. Um, so yeah, and um, Lester kindly gave me a ball marker, Torquay ball marker as well. Like I said, they just couldn't have been nicer. So if you ever get the chance to do go to Torquay Golf Club, make sure you you pop in and say hello to Dan and Lester. Um, just awesome gentlemen. Um, I am. I mean, for those of you who've watched my vlogs and seen my life, basically, um, I don't have a driver. I don't have a driver for a very good reason because I can't use one. Um, I've tried loads of drivers. Um, I've even got the Yorker fitting drivers with me in the shop and I've tried every combination possible. Uh, and I just cannot get on with the Yorker driver. Pretty much like a car at the three wood, you know, it just doesn't perform for me as well as my M6. Um, as much as I'd love to play the Yorker driver and three wood, they just don't work for me. Um, I can't get the same numbers I get with that M6 three wood. So, uh, I'm not just going to put it in the bag for the sake of it, um, even though I'm a, an Orca fitter and I've got Orca everything else. But So I've booked in on the 28th of August to um, go and see Dan, because he's got a plethora of different driver of combinations available. Um, and he's going to attempt to see if he can get me into a driver. Well, good luck Dan, because um, I just can't use one. But I'm hoping, touch wood, he can finally get me into a driver that works for me because at the moment I just can't find that combination that works for me. Um, and it's quite kind of annoying because I'm losing, though I hit my three wood well, I'm losing so much distance by not being able to hit a driver off the tee. So I'm gonna go down. Um, I won't be filming that um, for obvious reasons that, you know, Mark, um, sorry, Dan works with or for Mark uh, and they use that lab. So it's kind of, um, I can't use Dan to, like boost my channel so to speak um, which is completely understandable and I completely respect that um, but I will um, show you the driver if I buy one um, so yeah that's pretty much it so far so I'm on the ferry I'm off to see Andy the weather is pretty pants um, and it's raining on and off so I won't be able to film it because I, I haven't got uh, the facilities to waterproof my equipment yet I'm not quite rich enough for that sort of stuff uh, but I will tell you the result then I'll show you later on when we go to the shop. I'll see, we'll see what this hybrid does. But for now, um, yeah, 
let's go to Whitsand Bay, let's do a lesson and let's try and improve that handicap. Well, I'm back from my lesson and uh, I hit a driver. I hit a driver quite well. Um, so what we worked on today was um, releasing the left hand. Um, and his exact words were, I'm surprised you've not dislocated his shoulder yet. Because when I, although the backswing's now there or thereabouts, he's loving the progress with the backswing. Um, the, re the, the actual release is awful. Um, I just block it. As in when I um, hit the club, I impact well and then I just sort of block it and I'm not releasing the left arm. So my drills for the next week are one armed releases. So I've got to keep swinging with the left arm and just release the club as in like sort of bend the left arm at impact after impact to release it round. But um, he got me using a driver. Um, I challenged him and fair play. Um, I hit some screamers um, and the bad shots weren't horrific either. Um, there was a couple in there that were shite, um, which there was bound to be. I think the first one I hit was like a pitching wedge. Um, but bear in mind, my lesson today was into wind off the right. Um, I hit some absolute screamers and the club I used was a Titleist TS3 and it was a hazardous smoked 6.0 shaft. Um, so that could possibly be my option, random as it sounds. Um, not putting all my eggs into one basket yet, but it was progress that I managed to hit a driver. So I'm really chuffed about that. Um, other than that, uh, progress is being made. Uh, the bad shots are becoming fewer and few far between. There's still the pull left for the bad shots, but that's more when I sway. But progress is made and I'm getting happier. So uh, I'm going to get showered and changed and then I'm going to head off down to the simulator and see what this hybrid does. I'm quite excited about this. I'm hoping this is going to be a low knuckleball. Doubt it. Hybrids are notoriously hard to keep low, but I've got every option. Low spin shaft, low launch shaft 16 degree head you know you're not going to get much better conditions to be able to low launch those clubs so let's go and do that and see how we get on now unfortunately whilst editing this video um the video the intro to the next section got corrupted so um just going to show you the new club it's a uh, titleist 818 h2 in 17 degrees uh, it's set in the D2 setting, which gives it one degree less loft. So it's at 16 degrees. The shaft I've got is uh, a Tensei White uh, 90 gram stiff flex um, shaft. And the grip I've got is the one I've got in all my clubs, which is the Golf Pride midsize plus four. Uh, so, yeah, that's the club. Uh, what I'm just about to put up now is before I started actually doing the video, uh, for this vlog. I decided to just have a quick go of it in the simulator and this picture that I'm going to put up now, ping, is my third or fourth hit with it um, and it's exactly why I bought this club for that exact shot. Um, unfortunately, the next video where I just hit a few balls with it, I can't get to 260. I think 252 is my furthest I got, but that 260 was just the purest of strikes um, and is exactly why I bought this club. But so anyway, here's a few videos uh, and then we'll come back and open a parcel I've received.
So that's the uh, Titleist 818H2 that I got from uh, Dan Hendrickson down at Torquay Golf Club. But whilst I went to the shop, um, I received a parcel. Now, what could possibly be in this parcel? Let's find out. Right then, let's open up this parcel and see what we got. I don't know where it's from, but let's have a look. Oh, um, take, let's just break that up. And inside the box is, wow, look at that. A new putter head cover, only fools and horses putter head cover. He who dares, lovely jubbly. Uh, and then this time next year, then it's got Del Boy, Rodders and Grandad. No, not Grandad, Uncle Albert. I don't know why I said granddad on it. Uh, and then it's a magnetic one. And that is going on. There we go. It's going on the Scotty. So let's take Scotty off. See, Scotty, there's the putter. Let's put him on. Close him up. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Yes, indeed. Uh, this is from Scott Reedman Concepts. Um, and I'll leave a link down in the description um, of where I bought this from. But this is just a thing of beauty. And also, whilst I was on there, I decided that I was going to buy a couple of cats. Because I like cats. So the first one I bought was uh, an all black Scott Reedman Concepts cap. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, that fits like a charm. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, and then the second one I bought was a trucker cap. And it's this bad boy. Um, not normally a fan of trucker caps. It's a little bit on the large side. But I did like that camouflage design. So let's see what that one's like. Yep, I like that one too. So yeah. And it's uh, got the camouflage underneath. So thanks very much to Scott Riemann, um, these concepts, who got that out in next to no time at all, really. Um, I think I ordered it two days ago, um, but I ordered it late in the afternoon, so it was too late to get out. Um, and it turned up today. So, yeah, excellent service. So cheers very much for that, Scott. Appreciate it. Um, that's going to be it for this vlog today. Uh, I'm not playing golf tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to be playing hopefully over the weekend if the weather holds up. But tomorrow the weather down here is horrendous. Um, it's just been weekends have been storms the last three weekends. And it'd be nice to just have a day off so we can go and play golf. I don't think I've played since Stadden Heights. Um, but that's going to leave it for today. Um, if you like uh, any of my vlogs or any videos you've seen on my channel please go and check them out uh, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below i really appreciate it if you could subscribe when i get to 500 subscribers i am giving away an orca wedge so head on over to that video um and put you know subscribe to the channel and just put hashtag orca on that video and be with a chance to win a free video a free video free wedge otherwise drop me a comment uh let me know what you think and also um, give this video a like or an unlike if you're that way inclined. Otherwise, uh, thanks again for watching and I shall see you all again soon.